A long time ago, I made a promise that I was going to talk about the finale of The Walking Dead, but I never got around to it, admittedly, so I wanted to do that in this video. So yeah, that's right. In this video, we're going to be talking about the finale to The Walking Dead that really just felt more like a season finale instead of a series finale. And honestly, I'm going in completely raw. I have a lot of thoughts about it, and I've sat on this episode for some time, and I think one of the biggest indicators that's going to lead to a lot of the conversations that we get into is I never went back to watch it. Honestly, I didn't. And when I watched the episode, I thought it was enjoyable to watch but there was a million and one problems with it. Like, literally, there were so many problems with it. But in the end of the day, I was still happy because it's the end of The Walking Dead. I at least wanted to see them end it somehow. But the way they did it is not at all how I would have liked them to do it. Um, so I kind of wanted to rant a little bit in this video. But it's not going to be as crazy as the Carl and the Morgan ones and things like that. I don't hate this ending. I don't like it. But I don't hate it either. I'm okay with it. I wish they could have done it a million other ways, but they didn't. So this is what we got. It's better than the Game of Thrones ending, in my opinion, but that's not really saying much because I don't think it's that good at all. So there's a couple things that I want to address first, being the show wanted to go on. There was definitely talks at one point or another that the show was going to go on longer than it did past the comics. I know Scott Pimple was looking forward to that. I know, you know, Angela Kang and some of the others, that's what they wanted, but it didn't work. AMC had budgetary constraints, and I guarantee you they were like, look, bro, this show's been on way too fucking long. You need to take it off the air. So they had to do it. And believe it or not, that is kind of like what happened. We don't know the exact in and out, but we do understand that Angela Kang, we do understand that the production crew and all that were made aware from AMC that the show needed to end. So they got the boot, which kind of really should have happened a little bit ago. That's, again, another topic for another video. So that's kind of a non-negotiable. This show ending was unfortunately seemingly a bit more rushed than they had anticipated. So to be fair, I think it seems like they had to make do with what AMC executives told them to do. And because of that, I don't blame Angela Kang necessarily. I don't necessarily blame the writers, but there's a lot of stupid things that happen in this season and in the ending that I just can't get by. And one of the biggest things that I want to talk about specifically that really just grinds my gears about this is that they announced the spinoff of Maggie and Negan before the ending to the show. I think before the last eight episodes, if I'm not mistaken, which is the dumbest thing that they could have ever, ever, ever done. And I just finished watching, and the reason I'm making this video is because I was inspired and I remembered, I was like, oh crap, I gotta make this video. But the reason I'm making this is because I saw the Walking David's video talking about the ending. If you don't know the Walking David, I'm gonna link the video here and I'm gonna put it in the description. David, if you're watching this, I love you. But anyway, I was listening to him talk about this thing in particular, how they marketed the shows. And I just wanted to come back to it because it's so absolutely downright true. They should have never in a million years marketed these shows before the ending. I mean, Negan is such a big character in the actual canon Walking Dead comics. We didn't really know what happened to Negan anyway. We know that Carl eventually went to give him flowers or something like that. So we assumed he probably died or left or something, but no one ever told us. It would have been great going into the last eight episodes, thinking there's a chance that maybe he would sacrifice himself for Maggie, thinking that maybe Maggie or Herschel would kill him or something like that. But no, no, we knew his fate. We, we knew his fate going in. We knew Maggie's fate going in. I mean, we kind of already did if you were a comic book fan and all that stuff. But it takes all the fun and suspense that makes up The Walking Dead out of The Fucking Walking Dead. And that is not okay. I don't understand who thought that that was a good idea. I guarantee you it wasn't Angela Kang and her 
posse of people. I guarantee you it was probably like AMC's move or Scott Pimple's move. I don't know who thought this was a good idea, but it was so dumb. It was so downright dumb. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Carol and Daryl show was also announced. So we knew Daryl survived, which is another crazy one because he's the one that we really don't know anything about because he wasn't in the comics at all. Same with Carol. We knew her fate because she was supposed to be going to the show, but she didn't go to the show. So then for that brief moment, by the way, I know I was personally like, oh, maybe they killed her. Maybe this was all a, a, like a, a ploy. For a while, I was actually thinking that the announcement of these spinoffs was kind of like what Robert Kirkman did with the comics before the last issue came out, where if, if you guys don't know, Robert Kirkman dropped a ton of images of comics that were going to be coming out for The Walking Dead, like extra issues of The Walking Dead to kind of like tease that the, sh the comics would continue past Rick Grimes' death in the comics. But... It turns out that it just ended abruptly and it really was a plot twist because we thought we had a lot more to come. I thought that that was exactly what they were going to be doing with the Walking Dead TV show because they announced all these spinoffs before and I was like, that just seems like too good to be true and kind of weird at the same time and all that stuff. But no, that is literally what happened. And my main problem, aside from it being horrible that they did it before, but my main problem with that is the ending was just a marketing tactic. And again, I said it in the beginning, I didn't hate it. I didn't just downright think it was the worst thing in the world, but I thought it was just a pure marketing tactic. Like they could have hired a media company to just write this episode because that's essentially what they did. They literally just created an hour long ad for this. And it was really pathetic to see. I kind of want to jump in and talk a little bit about the things that I really didn't like in this episode. There was a couple I did, even though I don't love Luke as a character, like he didn't mean anything. Him and Jules literally just came back in the show to die because they didn't want to kill any of the main characters because they already had them on other shows, which is stupid. And they're all going to suck anyway. If you want to see my video about that, I'm going to put it here. It's all about why I don't care about the spinoffs. And if you want to see my other video about me thinking of which spinoffs would be better, I'll put that here. Guess what? The magic thing is here too. Haha, <laughs> isn't that crazy? Yeah. Anyway, so we start off with Luke and Jules, who were literally just products to die. Like that's that's all they were. They just came on the show just to die. And they've done this before. And it's so cheesy when they do that. But at least Luke, it was good because I did like Luke. And it was a sad moment for Yumiko's group. And I'm not even gonna say it's Magna's group like the comics, because it was Yumiko's group in the store in the show. But anyway, that was a sad moment for sure, and all that stuff. And just I don't know, it didn't really matter. Like it really didn't matter. It's like, okay, Luke, hi, bye. Like Okay, you you were literally brought back last episode, and now you're dead? Okay, sure, whatever. Fine, let's just take up, what, 10 minutes of the actual episode runtime to do this, and while that's all going on, you're doing all these homages to the first season of The Walking Dead, where you're doing stuff with, like, flashbacks, basically, of when Judith was, like, getting pulled into the thing by Daryl. It's, like, the same way that Shane was doing it to Rick and all that stuff. I get what they were going for, but it just felt so cheap. Like, it really did. Even even as a fan, it was like, ah, oh, that's cool. Like, look at that. Like, that is sick. Even as I was thinking it was cool, I was like, this is also fucking stupid. Like, and, and again, this is me going off of memory because I haven't watched the episode back. I only saw it once. Don't care to see it again, to be completely honest with you. Um, but I just thought it was cheesy. I thought it was like, okay, in the moment. And a lot of that was this. And this is what I'm going to say because I said I don't, I didn't hate it. I, you know, like it was enjoyable to watch again. Like it wasn't, it wasn't bad. Kind of like how I feel about the show. I put up with it, even though I didn't like it. That makes any sense. And that's why I recently said in the video that it's not my favorite show anymore. It used to be my favorite. I still love The Walking Dead at my core, but it's not my favorite show anymore. And 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 this is a prime example of it. I watched it just to tolerate it because it had a special place in my heart, but I didn't like it. Like, I didn't like it at all. And I felt the same way about this. I was like, oh, they did the thing. Like, but they, it just sucked. Prime example of that. Prime, prime, prime example of that is Daryl Dixon going like, we hate The Walking Dead. I, like, that was one of those things where I was like, oh, he did the thing. But then I was like, that was fucking weird. That Daryl shouldn't be doing that. That, what? Like, just don't put it in the show. Don't put it in the show. It doesn't, it's not believable. Like, that was one of those moments, and I just jumped around a shit ton. But 
that's a moment. That just straight up wasn't believable. It looked cheesy. The deliverance from Norman Reedus was not there. Like, and I do love Norman Reedus as an actor. And I'm not just talking about The Walking Dead. I'm talking about and everything else he's done, like Boondock Saints and stuff. I love Norman Reedus, but that did not feel right. I feel like the deliverance wasn't there. And that's because it's not even Norman's fault. Daryl is not meant to say that stuff. Daryl is not the voice of reason. He never really was. He was never that lead. Like, even when he led the show, he wasn't the lead of the show, if that makes any sense. Like, it, it, you can't really follow Daryl. It doesn't work. He's a side character. It doesn't make sense to do. So when you have him going up to Pamela with the most monotone, like, We all deserve better than this. Come on. Really? For a last episode? Absolutely pathetic. The Walking Dead, him saying we ain't The Walking Dead was cool, but the, it didn't work. It didn't work at all. And it bothers me as a comic fan because that was such an iconic moment and it was just so stupid in the show. Another thing that was really, really stupid in the show was, I was going to say Rosita's death, we're going to talk about that in a minute, but was the stupid ass, dumb, like beyond belief, I can't believe they put it to screen, bombing of the estates in the Commonwealth. The variants are too dangerous to just lead away. So here's the new plan. What the hell is even that? What the fuck was that? Like seriously, what was that? Why? What? Ugh. Oh my God, it bothered me so much. It felt like something out of like a shitty 80s film. Like it really did. It was like, you hear Mercer in the background like, the variants are too dangerous to just lead away. What? So stupid. That's what you put your money into this episode? Like, that is, that, what, what? Doesn't make any sense. Really, it was so dumb to see. There's a million other things they could have done. And speaking of dumb, I'm going to put it on screen right now. But that stupid shot of the walkers burning as it was going on looked so fake, looked so stupid. It literally looked like something out of a really crappy B film. Like, it looked bad. I don't understand what the need for that was at all. I do not understand it. It was just so stupid. And the whole thing with Pamela, where Carol and Daryl go talk to Pamela in a cell, and they're like, yeah, we're going to put you in a cell, kind of just like what they did with Negan. And that's the end of it. Like, it was just so lackluster and stupid. And it didn't really, it happened so quick. It was just so dumb, and it happened so quick. And that's not necessarily just the fault of the last episode. That's actually just the fault of of the last season overall because they had eight episodes the whole first of the three like the trilogy or whatever the stupid thing they did with it the first eight episodes were the worst part of the walking dead ever i'm talking about the reaper arc what the hell is even that what the hell is even that like seriously i i do not understand why they thought that was a good idea in any way shape or form i i don't understand at all at all. Okay, Leah, fine. You give a little bit of a story to Leah, maybe, but really, they didn't, she didn't even need to exist. The Reapers didn't even need to exist. All you needed to do, all you needed to do was say Maggie was with Georgie and Georgie went somewhere else and she just wanted to come back. That's all you had to fucking do. But no, 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 not at all. We get this horrible, horrible plot that was like something out of a sci fi show. Like Sci-Fi Network, I'm talking about, like that, those shitty shows. What was that? Why? Why waste eight episodes with such a terrible story when you could have been building the Commonwealth? I said this in another video. I said this in my Game of Thrones rant video. I'm going to put that here. But The Walking Dead needed like eight episodes to develop more in the last season. It didn't need like eight seasons like Game of Thrones did. It needed only like eight episodes. But those eight episodes were fucking wasted because we spent so much time with the Reapers. Why? Like, seriously, why? I said this in my Game of Thrones, or I said this in one of my videos recently, but I honestly think you and I could have came up with a better way to write those eight episodes. We could have done so much. We really could have. And there was a lot of source material from the Commonwealth in the comics that they could have adapted that they just did not do, such as spoiler alerts for comic fans, even though I've already spoiled everything at this point. But Dwight's death in the comics would have been awesome to see this season with I don't know, Negan, maybe? It would have worked. I mean, if you think about it, if we didn't get the announcement of the damn spinoffs, and let's just say we didn't have the spinoffs in a perfect world, but even though we definitely are, Negan could have taken that 
And it could have been maybe Maggie that killed Negan to save Pamela or something to show their dedication. I don't know. But anything is better than what we got. We didn't get, we didn't really get much. And what we did just felt so quick because they didn't have those eight episodes that were really, really needed to nurture the Commonwealth story. We didn't have them there. And not to mention the Commonwealth overall. We had a couple set pieces that was clearly filmed on that Georgia set that they, that they constantly film at. But we had a couple set pieces with like, what, 10 people in the background? This is supposed to be a city of 50,000 people? I think we're like, like what, what, uh, 49,990 off. I don't know. I'm bad at math. I, it's been a long day at work guys. But anyway, the point I'm making is if you want to do it right, you got to make it believable. And they didn't make it believable at all. And as a matter of fact, in the process, they made me not care at all because they announced every spinoff. So the only people with stakes, because we didn't know what their fates were, was like Rosita, which she died, Gabriel, Aaron. Uh, Jerry, who cares about Jerry? Ezekiel. Okay, who cares about Ezekiel? His story should have ended in the common in the uh, Whisper story with the Pike scene, like the comics. But no, we had to deviate. <laughs> God, guys, this is a prime example of why I really want to see, and I talked about it in my video of the spinoffs I want to see. But this is a prime example of how I wish there was a comic adaptation, one for one, that was just like Invincible, the the show Invincible on Amazon Prime. If we had that, it would solve every problem in the world because what they did with The Walking Dead just sucked. And it's a shame because Andrew Lincoln made The Walking Dead. Honestly, Jeffrey Dean Morgan made the later half of The Walking Dead too, but it didn't feel like The Walking Dead because you're lacking all the spirit. You don't have Carl. You don't have Rick. You don't have Morgan. You don't have The Walking Dead. You don't. Judith is not a Grimes at all. RJ is a little monster child. I don't even know what RJ is. Shouldn't even exist. But just overall... The show stopped becoming believable and they deviated so much. And I just want to guys, I just want AMC to lose the rights to the walking dead. I've said it a million times in every rant I've made about the walking dead. You know how I feel about that. The walking dead needs to go to HBO because look at what the last of us is doing. The last of us is great on HBO. It's fantastic. Three episodes is all it needed for me to say it's better than the walking dead. And that's crazy. That's insane absolutely ludicrous to say, but I think it's because of something like season 11 being such a flop that really demonstrates that. And it really, it really goes to the scene with Negan and it's not because it was a bad scene, but the scene with Negan, Glenn and Abraham in season seven, episode one is when the show also got beaten over the head with a baseball bat wrapped in barbed wire. Everything after it just was not the same. I liked season eight. Don't get me wrong. I actually did. I'm working on a video right now about how much I liked it and just season seven and eight overall. But season eight was the only real exception. Season nine was good and all that stuff, but it didn't feel like The Walking Dead because Carl wasn't in it. Rick left, blah, blah, blah. But season seven is where the nail went in the coffin. Everything before that was perfect television. Really was. And that's so sad. It's just so sad because season 11 went out with a little musty fart, just like pretty much everything else after season seven did, to be completely honest with you. It's absolutely disappointing. And I know in this 18 minute runtime that I'm at right now, I went all over the place and I rambled, but that's because it's my honest feelings about The Walking Dead. Like the finale, there's only one scene I like. And I said I'd get to Rosita, I will in a sec, but there's only one scene I liked out of the finale, just one. And it is the scene of Daryl riding off. Uh, two. Daryl saying goodbye to Carol. And then Daryl riding off with that beautiful soundtrack. If they had just done that in like and made more soundtracks like that in the episode, I think it would have been better too, but they didn't. But anyway, that scene of him riding off was really great. I don't care what anyone says. That was a cool scene to see. But only those like what minute and 30 seconds was like one of the only highlights of the episode. That's pretty bad. <laughs> that's pretty bad and I don't even love Daryl to be honest with you but it was great to see him riding off into the sunset like that with that music it just worked it was a good shot in any episode it didn't have to be the last episode it just kind of worked it would have been a great season 11 getting ready for season 12 episode but no 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 we're ending the show kind of or we're just ending season 11 I don't know I guess I should talk about Rosita I kind of don't want to but I'm I'm a little bit mixed on it I think I think I'm fine with Rosita dying because I don't give a shit about Rosita, to be completely honest with you. I never really did, ever. She was like a soap opera character. I just I don't really care for her. I really don't. The only thing I will say 
that I really, really just didn't like was how when they're climbing that stupid ladder that I couldn't even fucking climb, let alone Eugene, but they're climbing that ladder. Eugene goes first, then Father Gabriel goes second, and they leave the baby with Coco? I said the baby with Coco, but seriously, I think you get what I'm saying. They leave Rosita with Coco? Why? They let her go last? Why? Because she's a fighter? Or did you just do it because you wanted to kill her? Because I can think of a million and one ways to do it better than that. Who wrote this? Who thought it was a good idea? Who thought that was a good idea? Okay, I could get behind her revealing it to Eugene. I loved that scene. It wasn't like my favorite scene ever, but I loved that scene between the two of them. It was a great goodbye sort of scene for them. Um, but her death scene in the bed was just so stupid. <sighs> I forgot they put the uh, landslide in there and I kind of liked it, but landslide is so fucking cliched too. It's played in like every sad moment or something like that. It just didn't feel right. Like, yeah, it was cool to see something like that from the walking dead, but they had to build up to it and make it right for everyone to be so happy. It was just so crazy. It was like one minute Pamela was fine. Next minute. She's horrible. Next minute. She's in jail. Next minute. They're very happy. It was just like, what, what, what? Like, where am I going? Which direction am I going in? What, who, where, why? And again, I said it in the beginning of this video. I got to slowly wrap this up, but I said this in the beginning of the video. I could, I could understand that it seems like this decision was made pretty last minute and they had to rush, somewhat rush an ending. Like, I get that. I really do. I, uh, unfortunately, I do sympathize with creators who are in a position like that where they have plans and they get squashed on like that. I do understand that. But that being said, I really think they could have allocated their time a lot better and just not had the Reapers. It was such a stupid storyline that didn't need to be explored. And if it had to be explored because they set it up a little bit in the end of season 10, all they really needed was like one episode and that's it. Like I wouldn't care if they just came and died because no one cares about them. They're, they're, not, they're not important. But because they were in it, they ruined season 11. And season 11's final episode was rushed. But of all else, the reason season 11, uh, season 11 failed, specifically the finale of The Walking Dead, was because they announced the spinoffs. Therefore, we had no value in watching the shows or the characters because there was just more to come. I would have loved to have been on the edge of my seat, especially with some of the stuff that happened this season where the stakes got high. Would have loved to have been on the edge of my seat, but no. We got completely ripped of that. That's not fair for any of us fans at all. I really think The Walking Dead flopped. It just straight up flopped. And I was holding back from saying it for a while because I was one of the only people I know who stuck with it after season seven. Like everyone I've talked to who has seen the show stopped after season seven for honestly good reason for them. But the, I mean, the Glenn and Abraham stuff was never going to stop me from watching it because I love what happened in the comics and I loved seeing it on screen. And I thought that episode was fantastic. Even with their deaths, I thought it was perfect. Like, I don't care. I understand why people fell off though. But that being said, I kind of wish I was one of them. I wish I didn't love and have a special place for this show the way I do because they didn't get to suffer through any of that shit. We had to watch from season seven, eight, nine, which was okay, 10, and now 11, and just see the show go down and down and down and down and oh, up when Rick left and then down, 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 down. It's unfortunate. It really is. I hate seeing something I love go out that way. It really is a shame. Like, it genuinely is a shame. I don't know. I'm not excited at all for the spinoffs. If you want to go see my video for that, I'm going to put it right here, like I said in the beginning, but not excited. Really bummed to see the direction that AMC's The Walking Dead went down. I really just want to see AMC lose the rights and then go to like HBO or somewhere better where they could actually treat the show the way it deserves to be treated or treat the IP the way it should be treated. It just really is unfortunate. And we recently had an announcement that Robert Kirkman's probably done making anything The Walking Dead ever. That's because he's in a major lawsuit with The Walking Dead and it left a bad stain. It even left a bad stain in the creator's mouth. That's how you know. I mean, there's other reasons for that, but still, that's how you know. And yeah, guys, I would love to know what you have to say about it down in the comments. I can't wait to hear from you down there. Um, yeah, with that out of the way. There you go. It took a lot of time for me to get these thoughts out, but I had to sit on it for a little while to reflect on it because in the beginning I was kind of okay with it and looking back and spending time really marinating with it, I didn't like it. I mean, there was moments it was enjoyable to watch, but I didn't, I didn't like it overall. So yeah, it's a shame, but whatever. Anyway, until the next one, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please make sure you like it so we could share it with more people. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until the next one, I'll talk to you later.
Peace out.